After periods of duty at sea, submarines return from patrols for refit and a spell of off-duty leave for the crews. A British submarine makes her way into her depot ship, coming home to mother, as they call it. Once alongside, the commander goes aboard to hand in his reports, and out of the hatches come his men, ready for some well-earned rest and recreation. After the abnormal life they lead, where breakfast is at eight in the evening, and sleep taken at short intervals, this is luxury indeed. Meanwhile, the workshops aboard the mothership are busy carrying out minor repair jobs that may be necessary and restocking the submarine with new torpedoes. When duty calls again, the staff officer of operations and the commander get together and discuss the new plan of campaign. And now, down the hatch, through the conning tower and into the cramped and confined interior, where in a maze of levers, valves and gauges, the submariners take their craft out to sea. Soon after leaving the depot ship, she must first make a test dive, and then away she'll go at good speed on the surface towards her patrol area. When everything's ready, the vents are opened, and the submarine slips gracefully below surface. With every man at his diving station, the electric motors take over as the sea closes in around her. at periscope depth. Up goes that searching eye scanning the horizon. When enemy ships are suspected, there are many dangers to be guarded against. That telltale wake left by a periscope may lead to trouble. Whenever possible, a submarine will cruise on the surface to conserve her batteries and to take in as much fresh air as possible. But breaking surface can also mean that she's coming up to attack. It is seldom that the veil is lifted to reveal the magnificent work of the submarine service of the Royal Navy. Periodically, a bold statement covering a bold adventure is tapped out over the tape machines. The Admiralty announces British submarines scored further successes in the Mediterranean. At a British port, German prisoners taken from the U-93 are landed. While they head for internment, another victory mark is put on the Jolly Roger flown by one of His Majesty's submarines on active service. 